So we're here with my oldest living mentor, Dick yeah. Everett, who is yeah. basically all of New England uh, living inside one human body. 93 years old. This is the engine Bill Harris found somewhere. His grandfather was William H. Harris the first. Then his father was William Harris the second. Okay. And then Bill Harris was the son, William H. Harris the third. And he wanted to get this in the worst way. I took it up to, uh, well, he came with me to a wireless and steam years and years ago when it was really Bob Merriman and his wife yeah. running the place and all. And Paul was a little kid then. And uh, he gave me about a half hour to get it running right. We got to make a few strokes, but I can't remember. I had to do more work on, from the wrist plate up and I wasn't given the time to do it. <laughs> and then it has never seen a steam pipe since then. It sat in his living room until he died and willed this to me. And this being the the Harris Corliss Company? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Where were they out of again? Providence? Harris, uh, Providence. Yeah. All the erection sheds were taken down. And we thought that the Smithsonian was going to take all the cast iron. It was a pretty open building with all these cast iron columns that held up the roof. Mm -hmm. And all the columns have four sides on the top. And rather than the scanthus leaves and stuff like Greek columns would have, or Roman, these depict one piece of the Harris Carlos engine on each side. And they're, they're all different. Yeah, what happened to them? So they all went to the junkyard except one. The Smithsonian took one. That's all gone. There is nothing left there. Castellucci cut stone was using the building. And then it was junked. The building was taken down. The whole thing. But there was a company called Castellucci Cut Stone. They uh, sawed granite, pink granite. They saw all pink granite for the AT&T building in New York City. Yeah, probably that, from Quincy. That, I just can't believe that the was college... one of the last jobs Castellucci did, apparently. And they were using the Harris erection sheds. Most most of the Harris stuff had been torn down years before because it covered blocks up there. Oh, I bet. But the erection buildings were still there where, where they assembled and fitted these things and pulled them apart and again and <laughs> sent them to wherever they were going to go. I just and can't believe they destroyed all those columns. There are two or three at uh, East Greenwich, right? Yeah, well, there's, yeah, they have the heavy Harris and then the regular one. Yeah. Um, and then, but there, there were all those other builders, too. They had Noble T. Green. Yeah. Uh, Armington Sims. Yeah. Um, what were well, the others? Well, the Armington Sims is just like mine. Yeah. But it's 75 or 70 horse, I think. Yeah. High speed. 70. They, High well, they have two of them. They have two of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, the little one was the one up at CLMP. The one that they lifted by they, the damn flywheels they, and bent the crankshaft. And they tore it all apart. Yeah. yeah but bring it in. Yeah, I just wanted to give an essay on that and the oral history because well, Dick Everett's the only one that has it. That's all I know about it. Thank you, Dick. Okay. Um, yeah, if you can think of anything else to tell them about it, tell them. Yeah. Is the white truck going to be in your way? No. All right.